we got to jump into tractor, get my order from EliteTruck.com and get some toolboxes for my truck. So let me go jump in the tractor. The semi will be here in just a sec. I got two toolboxes that they're going to go in these, this this side and then on the other side as well. Good thing about living out in the country, I've got plenty of room for the semi to turn around. It's starting to rain, but it's not too bad yet. Let's see what we got here. Get my, the old trusty uh, pig sticker out and we'll open this thing up. I ordered this from EliteTruck.com. Made in USA, Elite Truck. Man, I'm telling you what, it is a, you talk about a pleasure to, to work with. The customer service, let me tell you a little bit about the customer service on EliteTruck.com. They're not paying me to say this. I ordered the toolboxes from EliteTruck.com and I'll put the website across the bottom of the screen here. But I'm telling you, I called the salesman, Harrison, I think his name was, and I was like, hey, this is what I, this is what we're getting, this is what we're gonna do or whatever. And he was like, okay, measure this, measure that. What color do you want? I mean, he asked me like a bunch of questions to make sure that I had everything perfect for the truck. And then I was like, okay, cool. Let me, uh, this is the order that I want. He calls me back like an hour later and he was like okay just to confirm this that and the other this is what we got in the order man i thought that was really cool that these guys they're out of north carolina and they make it for nap hide stall cm bradford built nor uh north star or north star whatever however you pronounce that so they have toolboxes for pretty much every truck bed that you can think of and uh so they the website is elite truck.com i'll put that across the screen but I'm telling you, if you want personalized, individual customer service that's out of this world, you, you need to deal with these guys. Buy your next toolbox from those guys. Again, I'm not getting paid to say that, uh, but it, you know, if you've been on the channel, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that if I get excellent customer service from a company, I'm going to tell you about it, and I'm going to say, hey, visit these guys and get a product from them. So let's open it up, and let's see what it looks like on the inside. And I've got one for each side here. I got the five, I think it's a five door, I can't remember. It takes a few weeks for the order to come in because they custom make, they literally custom make the uh, bed, the boxes for you based on the bed that you've got, based on the brand that you get, the brand of box that you get. This is a C-Tech brand, I'm pretty sure. So Elite Truck is like the distributor, I imagine. see what the drawers look like so it comes, look how it comes packaged i mean the packaging is just incredible they don't want any scratches or dents or anything like that so they package it really good dude this is sweet i got white and black and it is awesome you guys ready here we go Oh man, look at that. Yes, sir. Wow. These are gonna be awesome. Yeah, they can do they can do whatever color you want. Yeah. 
man. So one, two, three, four, five, six drawer system. I got 13 inch deep. Let's read, let's see what it says here. This is a C-Tech manufacturing production checklist. Project, that's project number. Fastener is good, drawer is good. No locks and keys. This is the person that checked it. Overall appearance, wipe down, vacuum, paint. Look at that, man. How much attention to detail. How much attention to detail. They make them for elite truck. Well, let's pull out the... Uh... Oh, check that out. Look at that. Uh, you got the foamy on the inside. Oh, yeah. Dude. That is just insane. I love it. And then you can put the big stuff down underneath. Have you ever been excited about a toolbox? So we're gonna place those in the Ram 4500 and it's gonna be awesome. You got installation guides here. You can do uh, scan it with your QR code here. Man, that's good. Good job, C-Tech Manufacturing. Well done. And of course, Elite Truck is who you go through to get that. All right, let's go put it in the truck when it quits raining. All right, good morning, it's the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean out all the stuff that's in here. We'll get it separate, or not separated, but we'll get it out, and then we'll be able to put the new toolbox in. EliteTruck.com is, uh, they make it for, they make it for nap hide, reading, stall, CM, North, I think I mentioned that earlier, it, it was yesterday, and I've slept since then. But on their website, you can see, they make it for service trucks, flatbed trucks, vans, uh, they, they carry tool boxes, tool inserts, tool drawers, and I'm telling you, they've got a 100% guarantee for like if it shows up damaged or whatever or paint scratched or whatever, call them, they'll take care of it right away. They're based out of North Carolina, but they may, they work with all the different manufacturers. So take a check, check out Elite Truck. I think you'll you'll really get a kick out of them. And if you hit them up on Instagram or something, tell them Hamiltonville Farm sent you for doing this uh, promotion for them. I, I, don't, I don't know what you would call it, but I was really tickled about how they how good they were. Okay, so let's get all this stuff out of here. We'll just set it off to the side here. And then we got to figure out how to organize it. And I've, I've, got, a, I've got a good idea, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Some, some stuff won't make it into the box. Some, some stuff will. Like these, these screws won't make it. That's for a roof project I did. Don't drop screws where you're going to be driving. But you want to be organized somewhat you know you want to keep like your all your tools organized like this tool bag here has socket set in it well that socket set may end up in one of these drawers versus this bag so we'll see Sunex uh, sockets that's the big stuff then you know maybe I'll do metric versus standard I don't know I do like carrying the sockets and stuff in a case. So I don't know. We'll see. And I'm still learning. If you've watched a couple of videos, you'll see that, you know, we're, I'm learning where this truck, where I'm keeping all this stuff because it's going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But we'll take this drawer out here. Man, how did I, I mean, I've only had this truck. <laughs> I've only had this truck a couple of weeks. Good Lord. Let me get the, uh, I've got a little portable shop bag and then I'll take this top drawer out. Then we'll put the toolbox in. Get the old Dewalt shop back. You hear my dog in the background. He's looking out the window, man. He don't like it when I'm, why ain't you out here playing with me? Okay. Now I'll take this out. What it take to get this out here? Mm, I don't know. T30 might be. See if I got something. I don't. That might be the biggest one I've got here. Let me. No, I really need a star bit. That ain't gonna quite grab. 
Let me see if I got a bigger uh, star bit, torch bit, whatever they're called. Oh, I bet I know where one's at. Got it on this other side. I've got a... Got to find it here. I bet there's one in there for sure. Yeah, here we go. Here's some big ones. There you go. Alright, this one will work. Let's get it. Alright, we'll take these screws out here. Really? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? What? That won't fit in there. Let's see, will it fit in a maybe a quarter inch? Or right, nine thirty seconds. Nope. Five sixteenths. There we go. Five sixteenths. <laughs> All right. This drawer is held on by four screws, and I may end up. Let me actually. You know what? Let me measure and see. That might actually stay in there. Just man. Nah, nah. No, it ain't going to. So we're going to do this side. We'll, we'll install the toolboxes and then install it on the other side as well. And repeat, the, repeat the same process on the other side. back on to help secure the other toolbox. Okay. A little love tap. Alright. Okay, let's put the toolbox in. Man, this black and white just looks so good. I may have to put it on riser. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it on riser. Okay. So it came with risers to go so you can get this bottom drawer opened up. But right now the bottom drawer doesn't open up until I, I raise it up some, but I'm not going to be able to put that drawer back in there. I can't wait. This is so exciting. Okay, let me put these risers in here. All right, so this right this is a riser. I think it's probably a two inch riser. Yeah, two and a two and a quarter inch riser. It will actually secure to the bottom of the toolbox and then into the bed of the, the truck here. And that's how I'll secure it. I'll secure the toolbox to the riser and then the riser to the to the uh, bottom here. So figure out how far apart it is and then we'll mark our holes. Okay, so let me see how, what the distance is between here and here. 25 and 3 eighths. So 25 and 3 eighths will be our distance. Here it is. And then we'll square it up and all that good jazz, but that's about where it's going to go. All right, Let me mark those.
Okay, pretty flush with the back. The back can go as far as we need it to go. I'd say 25 and 3 eighths, is that right? And that is one inch off the back. So now I could drill my hole in anywhere in there and it should connect to here. They give you a little leadway there on the Alright, so let's connect the risers to the thing. You can take this drawer out here, give you some room to work with here. So I'll just lean it up against here. these drawers out they've got little tabs one pushes down one pushes up or something like that I can't remember yeah maybe that's it yeah all right so this is the actual drawer itself the handle look at the look at the handle so now we have room to put the risers on there let me put a Put this out. We're not scratching and putting dirt everywhere. I mean, these toolboxes are going to get scratched, so this will be a little cleaner, cleaner work surface instead of all that dirt I was on. All right. All right. Now we'll get some mounting hardware. Cobbled up enough hardware, I think, to make it happen. So we're going to need six. Unless we need double washers, and then I'm messed up. Two, four, six. If we need that, if we need more than one washer per <laughs> nut and bolt, ooh, I'm about to run to the store. Let's, we, can get one, we can get one side put in, though. Now, time it just right, I can make it to where I can go to lunch. And uh, buy the other stuff while I'm in town. So let's try. I'll keep these out just in case I need them. There's other washers. So we're trying to fix our toolbox here, and crisis has struck. Our pig is out. One of our pigs is out. I don't know how they got out, but we're going to put her back in. Under that. Broke her fence. I don't know how to get her back in. Let's see. That pig is heavy too. Man, how long is this going? Hey, chickens! Oh lord! How far does this sheep go? I'll have to get her. Man, she did a number on that thing. Put her back in here. All right, Maggie, you're gonna have to hold the gate open. Come on. <laughs> Go. Nine. 
Yeah, I, when I get it close, I'm not doing it now. Come on, come on. I know, girl. Come on. Pig Wrangler. Come on. I know, sweetheart. Get back in there. Uh -uh. Oh gosh, I don't know that I'm gonna. Yeah, she can fix it. Up. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh lord, now quit that girl. Cinder blocks around here or something and make it good again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she was making up with the noise and I came over and I, she wasn't anywhere near getting out. The next thing I know, she's right behind yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> ah, get. I'm gonna put you back in. As a matter of fact, let me go. I'll save you. Yeah, I'm gonna go put her back in the bar. Alright, so take the screws and then we'll secure the risers to this. I might have to get longer screw longer nuts and bolts to secure it to the uh, actual truck. So we'll do that at lunch and finish up. Oh now I need to make sure that drawer has clearance before I put the rest of them in there. Should. Might need another ratchet. Let me go get another ratchet. I thought I could get it with this screwdriver, but I can't. I love the color of this stuff. This black and white. And you can get any color. You can get any color you want. I think you can get any color you want. You can get multiple colors to choose from, I should say. Probably a better way to say that. Let me just do a little quick test on the clearance. Clearance, clearance. Yep, plenty. So now we'll put the other side on there, drill the holes in this, and secure this to the truck. I'll say this, for you guys that have service trucks, I guess this is the way you do it. I've never owned a service truck before, nor have I ever owned a toolbox insert. My assumption is you just need to get it secured. That would be my assumption. And if you have a service truck, and you've got tool insert boxes like this, have you ever bought them, or did, they, or did your truck come with them? Let me know in the comments. That'd be interesting to, to hear. Might need to put Loctite on the ones I put when I secure it to the truck. Alright, let's do another dry fit. These things aren't that heavy, so taking that one drawer out will help a little bit as well. But, you know, if you get too heavy, you can always take the drawers out. Help you man maneuver it a little bit. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure the risers and then slide the box in, I think. We'll see. I was on the struggle bus there for a minute. I, it's, you know, it's funny. As I said, I've never done this before. And then we started getting into the chaos of trying to get it to fit in there. Pretty funny stuff. It's like foreshadowing almost. See what I've got in my bag. I know when I was setting up the other service truck, you guys, you need to invest in these drill bits and stuff. And you're right, I should. But this is thin, super thin metal, so it should not have an issue going through that.
secure this. Hopefully we get it lined up. What I'll do is I'll leave it just a little loose. And that way it has some play in it. You know what I wish I had? I wish I had some nylon. I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some uh, Loctite on here on the bottom. Because I don't have any locking nuts. What else I might do when this is all set up is I might come under here with some silicone and just gop it full of, goop it full of silicone. Again, I'm not going to tighten them down until we get them all situated. It's a bit like a bit holder thing. You guys got pigs? Ever get out on you? <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? We used to have 31 chickens, and I think we're down to like 14. Chickens die a lot. Now let's see if that thing will fit in there and then let me get the screws ready. Bolts are nuts and bolts ready. These will go on the toolbox side. Hey! Sometimes you gotta be smarter than the box. Perfect. Just like my wife. All right, let me see how the door's gonna close. All right, oh, let me see that. All right, the door secures. Obviously, we'll need to we'll get it secured. I think we're in like Flynn now. Put some Loctite on these as well. Yeah, the fit's perfect. Perfect. I gotta go to the store and buy more uh, hardware, mounting hardware. The, the, the toolboxes doesn't, they don't come with mounting hardware. Or mine didn't. I don't know if you can order, I don't know if you can order the mounting hardware with it or not. And like I say, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put these drawers back in it while it's loosely mounted. Then probably pull that bottom drawer back out and then secure it. Now I can just go tell Wiley, go get box number three, drawer number three. <laughs> and we won't have to look around for it a lot. I'm gonna snug up one on each side. Top and bottom. Kinda keep it from slipping. 
time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Slip the middle. That's all right. We'll see. That's how it works out. that bolt broke. That's all right. I think I got one more. I think I got one spare. Yeah, I had one left over. Let's see what this next one does. It may not have gotten it exactly square in there. I need to. I'll need to fix that. try this other drawer and if it fits we'll take it back out and then we'll tighten her down Look at that. Oh, look at this. You got me running all around the car. <laughs> all right. Let's tighten it down and let's get it. I mean, it's perfect. That looks sick, too, don't it, man? Look, Wiley's going to be getting his greasy fingers all over it. I can already see that. Wow. All right, then, what do I do? How do I secure it left to right? Do you? Do you secure it left to right? Let me know in the comments if you secure it. Like left and right, front to back. Do I run a bolt in it somehow right here? I'm not sure. Let me take this drawer out and let me tighten her down. And then we got to run to the store and uh, get some more nuts and bolts. But I'm excited. Wow. This is awesome. Make sure I don't break another if, man if that that worries me now if that if that bolt is that weak is it gonna break going down the road you know with the vibration and the hmm You can configure these drawers too. Like I got small drawer, small drawer, small, medium, medium, large, or whatever the sizes are. But you can you can actually configure the drawer sizes.
ball bearing slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like my, you know, all my wrenches across here, all my ratchets and sockets across here. It's going to be wonderful. All my screwdrivers. So let's go with, let's see. Yeah, that started it up a lot too. Securing it, you know, getting all the bolts tight and stuff. Whew. White and black looks good, but man, that's going to be... That's going to stay dirty. I bet she went with red and black. <laughs> that looks good, though. My goodness. I can't get over how good it looks. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just start now. Uh, we'll do electronics up top. Screwdrivers and such. We'll put this screwdrivers and picks and stuff. I'll we'll put that down here. And then what I'll do is I'll look for, I'll look for an organizer, you know, because they make like tool, toolbox organizers, then we'll be able to, because I don't know how that's going to work going down the road, you know. Mm, let's get rid of this guy. picks there it's a learning process you know we'll figure out what we like what we don't like let's put put my starter button here okay let's see so that's the rest of this is wrenches and stuff. So we're going to go upstairs with the wrenches. And we'll probably set these. These are my Michael Pros. These are standard. And I'll say this. This may not be how it ends up. You know what I mean? Five, eight. So these are all like standard stuff. My stubbies will go here. These are standards as well. This is a metric set that we can put somewhere. Alright, let's see here. This is a line wrench set. Keep them in the box like so. I think so, right? I think that's what I'll do. Alright. These are all standards. So let me get rid of this metric won't go in there. I think these are standards too. Yeah. These are line wrenches that I got. I can't remember where I got these. They just they have no name on them. All right, so let's do this. Five sixteenths. Ain't this fun? Ain't this fun, y'all? <laughs> Eleven sixteenths. Half, but not the same brand. That's all right though. This is a metric half. Uh, ten is a metric. I wonder how well these are going. To, here's another half. I wonder how well these are going to stay in place going down the road. That's ten sixteen is a metric, and eleven that's a metric. All right. So there's some wrenches. My screwdrivers and such. 
Maybe I'll put my maybe I'll put my special wrenches. No, let's do this. Then we need like a jump drawer, you know what I mean? So let's go. Ratchet. Double-headed ratchet, and this thing's cool, man. And I got an, ex an adapter over here. Man, I'm so excited. It's like Christmas. It's literally like, like Christmas. Let's put some vice grips there. I got to be careful, though, because, like, I want to keep some of this stuff in these bags. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? But I could probably put that in there. Like some of the stuff I don't hardly ever, like we hardly ever use that, you know? We hardly ever use that. Crescent wrenches. Now, oh, here's another, another wrench that goes up here. Let's see, it's... And then you can label these drawers, you know. That's, you'll have to do that at some point. This will go with the... The ratchet area. Here's some sockets. Some pliers. Axe it like a bud, bud lug. Sockets, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Here's a couple of crow's feet down here. And it may be, like I say, we'll we'll do these drawers and then be like, you know what? I don't like how that's set up, so we'll, we'll move them around. So I want to keep like battery stuff with the battery stuff. Ratchet stuff with the ratchet stuff. Sockets with the sockets. Air with the air. I mean, that's the plan anyway. You could probably get real hardcore and... Um, like cut out, like in the Air Force, we used to do like foam. All right, I think that's good. Let's put the batteries in here and the battery charger. So this will be the battery stuff here. batteries battery cleaner battery terminal cleaner and there was a this terminal cleaner and I had a I had a pair of pliers what were two of the pliers that were uh, I can look for them I'll tell you what I'm talking about I'll show you what I talk about when I find it screwdriver dude I'm loving it uh. let's do a miscellaneous drawer miscellaneous tapes uh, rope tape bungee cord marker loctite funnel hammer Hammer, chainsaw stuff. I mean, this stuff's fine in here. All the long stuff is in here, if that makes sense. What is that? This, these are big wrenches. Yeah, so these are big wrenches. So let me put all the big wrenches in, a, in the drawer down here. Case of wrenches. 
Oh, there he is. I got some more big wrenches somewhere. Where are they? battery stuff that this this battery may not fit in there let me see Let's see if that top dome will fit in there it may not I doubt it got a wrench that's gonna drive me crazy now looking for that stupid wrench My miscellaneous drawer, I put like markers and all that stuff in there. I'm a fan of containers. Look at that. Zip ties. Chainsaw stuff. Zip ties. Oh, more screwdrivers. They can stay in here though. All my liquids, all my penetrates and liquids and stuff is here. Marvel Mystery Oil, Brake Cleaner, etc. So that's a good spot. This is a good drawer here. Everything seems to be logical in here. The other side is logical with my uh, carrying. Like anything that has to do with cargo is in this container here. Like all my straps. Oh, you know what? Let me put that rope in there. This, that'd, that'd be logical. Any type of like secure cargo tie down stuff, it goes in here. This will go stay in here. So I've got some chains here, my jumper cables, and my top dom jump starter. This was just in here, a piece of fuel hose. This is for like long stuff. Over here, I don't think I've got anything in here. Hardly anything. My way safe hitch, a couple of nuts and bolts, air stuff. So we'll put we'll put all the sockets and stuff. Actually, wrenches and sockets probably wrenches, screwdriver, sockets, and pliers probably need to be together. Then all the other garbage comes on this side anyway so we'll do that as well so let me run to the store I'll be right back that'll be two seconds for y'all be uh, a few minutes for me and we'll go uh, get some more hardware mounting hardware and we'll get this other box put in and then you'll see after I get done I won't film the whole process but after I get done I'll give you a whole tour of what we're doing all right I'll be right back Three hours later. All right, we're back. We had Hardee's. You guys got Hardee's or Carl's Juniors, I think, as some people call them. I don't know what they have overseas that are equivalent to that, but me and the cameraman went and ate, ate Hardee's. I forgot I had this big sticker in my truck, so I'm going to stick it on the inside of this door right quick, and then I'm going to load up the other uh, toolbox on that side. How's that look? I'm going to go down with this. That looks straight, fellas. Let me know in the comments if I got it straight or not. Got that calibrated eye. Look at that. Don't that match the toolbox too? Love it. All right. I did buy. Uh-oh. 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 I thought we checked that. Hmm. I might do some figuring. And sit in that middle drawer. Let me see how much room I got. I don't think I have enough room back there to... Well, that's the problem. It's this drawer right here. And then it won't turn. Mm. All right, let me call. Let me call their customer service and, and see what I can do. Okay, so it does fit. 
you, got, you just have to push it all the way back to the back. There you go. Okay. So remember when I drilled these holes, I, uh, I, I gave it an inch off the back side. You don't need to do that. Let me put the let me put the other drawers in it just to just to double check. All right, I'm about to re-drill these holes. Get the back there. Just make sure that thing come off. <laughs> well, you know, if, if you don't succeed at first, try again, right? Okay, so lesson learned. Check your check your drawers. <laughs> oh well, I'm get my drill. All right, so you got to mount it flush to the back there. So now you know it's uh, all the. You just have to be get it flush with the back. And now it should close. There we go. So, huh, man, you're talking about trial and error. That was some trial and error right there. So now let me get the other side put in and we'll get the tools organized here in a little bit. What's happening? How's it? Dang, that's a big chunk there. Three hours later. All right, iteration number one. This has been a, a little challenging pr project here because uh, you know, you've seen in the video, I'd, I'd started out putting the risers together, wasn't supposed to be together, I had to put them in there. Anyway, I had to measure some stuff, push them back, whatever. Got everything working now that's, you know, the door, the doors close um, nice and easy, nice and tight, nothing. So I had to finagle a bunch of stuff off camera. But So let me tell you the first iteration, all right, and my thought process, all right. So here, just as so some line wrenches, some wrenches. Some stubbies they're all standard here in this drawer here screwdrivers picks um i don't know what that starter button is in there for but uh, pick screwdriver type stuff wrenches ratchets extensions specialty wrenches all right pull and pull bars they go in there miscellaneous so all the air stuff goes beside the air stuff and then the miss everything else is miscellaneous hose clamps zip ties there's a couple of hammers in there, tape, chainsaw stuff, paint marker. Oh, uh, what do you call that? What's that called? Scrinch, I think it's called. I can't remember now. Anyway, so that's is all the uh, miscellaneous on this side. Again, this is first iteration. This is all battery stuff here uh, and things that are associated with batteries. Battery cleaner, test light, voltmeter. This is a infrared temperature gauge. How you doing? And all the batteries. 
But then this is all my wrenches that are rolls. And then I have an impact screwdriver set. Again, just open, combination wrenches. All right. So that's this side. And here's all long stuff. Uh, you've got, oh, and I put some magnets um, up here. But I've got the hand cleaning stuff over here. Then I've got long stuff, levels, long bolt cutters, master key, pry bars, sledgehammers, big stuff. But I had to add these cases here. This is the a few cases here of the screwdriver bit pieces, my impact ratchet socket set, chrome six point set here, and then that's that's that part. Subliminal message here. All my cleaners, brake cleaners, penetrating oil, starting fluid, all my chemicals in here. All right, then we go around to the other side. This is all my toe stuff. Stretch uh, cords, bungees, straps, things of that nature. I could put that chain in there, but I'm not going to. And this is all battery cable. This is all battery stuff. There is a chain in here, but battery cables, uh, battery charger, the cobbling kit, the uh, just some bag of miscellaneous stuff. This air impact wrench is too big to fit. How I've got these drawers set it out or sorted out, and then the uh, Doyle uh, hitch vice a fuel line so again not not long stuff all right and then here i still ain't figured out this box yet but we're going to go with metric wrenches metric combination wrenches uh, and then a couple prior bars that were not over in that area these are 12 point sockets there were some crow's feet in there this is all ratchets and this is a this is a, a, a rotating head or a, a adjustable head ratchet. Again, these Michael Pro tools, uh, combination wrenches here, you know, pliers. And there is a this is a this is a cool little wrench set here. These are all metric, but you set a size that you want inside here, and then it ratchets. It's a 14 and a 19. And then if you need it to do something else, you add these little inserts. Haven't used it yet, so. I don't know if it's going to work good or not, but we'll stick that there. This is all the, this goes here because it's with the cobbling kit. So the wrenches or the vice grips that we use to go with the cobbling kit there. I don't, I think the cobbling kit was too long of a box to put it all in the same drawer. These are just some random nuts and bolts that I had laying around. There's that. There's the impact drivers and drill. And big wrenches, you know, those go up to two inches and then a metric impact socket set. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, this is the metric, metric big stuff side and the other stuff is the standard side over there. So, and finally got everything to work over here. Nice and nice and easy. Doors close, latches latch, all that good stuff. But took a little bit. I need to roll this tarp up and put it back in um, over there. But so that's it. That's what we've got. It's been a long day. I had to break uh, after lunch and go to an appointment. Came back. It's still just as humid as it can be here. Leave a comment how what you would do different. And, and here, here's my thought process. This is how I've got it set up now. And I'm going to see how many times I walk around the truck. And if I catch myself walking around the truck and opening drawer number two, and I never open drawer number three on this side, then I'll take drawer number three put it in drawer number two over here and move drawer number two and put it in drawer number three over here. You know, so I can keep the most of what I do on one side of the truck. I mean, that's that's my thought process. Let me know if that, if, if that makes sense or not. But anyway, I appreciate you guys tagging along. Go check out Elite Truck, uh, elitetruck.com. I'll put the uh, website on there. I'm telling you, I couldn't be happier with that daggum tool. I'm just so excited. Why? Mm, maybe I should have chosen different. Maybe I should have made it all black because it's already getting grease on the uh, fingerprints everywhere on the drawers and stuff. I had to figure out some a few things, but all the dimensions were correct. The the the, uh, the toolbox showed up in in great shape. No no scratch on the paint. Everything was just built solid, and uh, I really I really appreciate uh, their customer service. So check out Elite Truck. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. I got. Whew, 
Whew, I'm telling you, it's so humid out here. Go watch a couple more videos from Hamiltonville Farm. We'd appreciate it. Give us a like. Hit that little thumb underneath the screen there. That will tell YouTube you liked the video, and we would appreciate that. You guys take care. Hey, God bless you guys. Read your Bible. See ya.